Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On and April's Games with Gold. We have tons of awesome games for you this month, so let's get straight into it. Now, for those of you that love to play hack and slashes, this will be the perfect game for you in this month's Games with Gold. You play as Marius Titus, who is a Roman legionnaire where throughout the game you'll use the iconic Roman Gladius to hack down enemies and his Roman shield to deflect attacks and also use it as an occasional weapon. The single player story is filled with epic moments like storming the beach with loads of other Roman soldiers, seeing ships explode around you and arrows flying overhead which is pretty awesome and is actually the sequence we first saw when it was revealed at E3 but just like any game that involves hack and slash combat, one of the most important elements is the combat itself. Like other hack and slash games like Batman, in Rise it's also about chaining your attacks together until you can perform an execution to bring down enemies quickly but in Rise you also gain a few extra benefits like being able to heal yourself or deal more damage. But rather than just having one button to always execute enemies like you do in most games, they will instead flash a certain colour which indicates which button you need to press to perform the execution. And in certain combinations you'll use both your sword and shield which looks pretty damn awesome. And if two enemies can both be executed at the same time, you'll get some really cool animations which make you feel like you're in a movie. You're also going to experience a number of amazing quick time like events during key moments of levels, such as getting together a Roman shield wall to protect yourself from arrows being launched at you from the Barbarian Horde so you can reach the tower, as well as calling in arrow volleys from your fellow Roman soldiers to help take out the Barbarian army, which is pretty fun to use. The game has a really cool story, but that's not all Rise Son of Rome is about. It also has a really fun co-op multiplayer experience that I used to really enjoy playing with my brother, where you fight off waves of enemies in the Colosseum and get to perform co-op executions, which is perfect if you really enjoy the combat in Rise Son of Rome, as well as work on gearing up your gladiator, but it is something that I would definitely recommend trying out with a friend as you can play it for free with Games of Gold. Telltale's take on The Walking Dead has the wonderful power of getting you hooked, emotionally involving you with its characters, and then ripping out your still beating heart and stamping on it right in front of you. The Walking Dead is your classic zombie apocalypse story. A zombie outbreak has taken hold and almost everyone is now a living corpse. But those lucky survivors, or unlucky depending on how you look at it, have to try and stay alive whilst avoiding being munched on and staying away from other survivors who want to kill them for their last can of baked beans. Yeah, exhausting. Telltale brings even more emotion in this catastrophic cooking pot by adding in the chance to shape your own destiny. You'll be given options on what to do and say in situations, and those will shape who likes you, what path you'll take, and more importantly, who you'll end up getting killed. Season 2 follows up where Season 1 left off. We're now in control of plucky young survivor Clementine, who must now work her way through the horrors of post-apocalyptic life on her own. It's not long before she meets other fellow survivors, but in true Walking Dead style, it's always unclear who she should trust and who's actually a big sneaky snake who will just use you for their own gain. Along the way you'll have surprises as you meet people who you thought were long dead, so fans of season 1 should definitely check out this next offering. Telltale always brings top quality drama whilst making you feel incredibly attached and involved with the characters, and many would say that The Walking Dead shows Telltale at their finest. Whether you're a fan of the comic book, the TV series, or just a fan of having to make intense decisions with stressful time limits that will ultimately lead to everyone hating you, then make sure to check out season 2 of The Walking Dead this April. In this month's Games with Gold, we have another hack and slash to go alongside Rise Son of Rome, and it's one that's a little bit older as it came out in 2010 on the Xbox 360, and that's Darksiders. In Darksiders, you play as War, who is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, fighting against a huge range of enemies, including angels and demons, which all have different abilities, making them really fun to fight against, and once you've been able to do enough damage to be able to kill them, they also have unique executions, with some of them looking pretty damn awesome. At the start of the game you're dropped into the world with war being at full strength and you instantly feel like a total badass as you turn yourself into demon form which in my opinion looks a bit like the Balrog from Lord of the Rings but allows you to deal an insane amount of damage very very quickly and is so much fun to use. You also get to do your very first boss fight at the start of the game which for me brought back so many memories of back when I used to raid in World of Warcraft as you'll have to do a range of different things to dodge attacks, deal damage and try and stay alive and this goes on throughout the entire game as you come up against different enemies and different bosses keeping it fresh and exciting to play. 
Once you've managed to complete the first part of Darksiders, you're weakened and sadly not as much of a badass anymore, but that means there's an absolute ton for you to do and learn so you can once again become that total badass that you were, including earning new abilities, powering up your sword Chaos Eater, gaining souls by killing enemies and finding chests which are dotted all around the world. Honestly, after playing this for only a short period of time, I would definitely recommend going and giving it a go this month. There's so much depth and things for you to do, you're not going to get bored. So go ahead, download it for free with Games of Gold this month, and let me know in the comments what you think. If you like your protagonist suave, charming, Italian, and going a little bit grey, then Assassin's Creed Revelations is perfect for you. If you didn't already know because you've been stuck under a video game rock, the Assassin's Creed series follows the adventures of several different figures from history as they fight for what they believe is right. The hook is that you play a normal person in current time called Desmond, who travels back to the past via his ancestors in something called an animus, and you're searching for a golden piece of fruit, and I don't know, it all gets a little bit fuzzy after that. The important thing about Revelations is, it's the third and final part of Ezio's story arc, an assassin who previously kicked a lot of Templar butt in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, and is still on the hunt for answers to a lot of questions still floating about. Whilst previous games saw Ezio running along rooftops in Italy, Revelations is set in Istanbul and provides a gorgeous setting. The dusty paths and stunning architecture make for a great open world setting, providing a perfect playground for free running opportunities for Ezio. The usual gameplay style is here too, you're free to explore wherever you see fit and missions and side missions will pop up all along the map opening up new opportunities and chances to upgrade your weapons and armor. Combat is much the same too. Say hello to the most polite enemies ever. Isn't it just so nice when everyone waits their turn? Of course they could just take you out by rushing you all at once but then where would be the manners in that? They will just stand around and wait to get stabbed one by one. Such gentlemen. I mean you may be a trained assassin but you can also take this style of fighting that I've mastered after years and years of grueling training. I call it kicking the other guy until he eventually surrenders. Works every time. There are a few added touches in Revelations too that set it apart from the previous titles, such as a huge expansive bomb crafting system and a neat little hook blade which helps to get around the city. There's endless boxes to loot and bits to collect, so if you're a collector through and through then you'll have plenty to get stuck into. If you played Assassin's Creed 2 in Brotherhood and just never got round to playing the last in the trilogy, then you really have no excuse now not to jump in and find out how it all ends for Ezio. Of course, if you haven't played them, a quick background story check, a download of Revelations and boom, you're ready to find out what all the fuss is about. Get your hidden blade ready and go take out some Templars this April. So there we have it, loads of amazing free games for you to get your hands on this month. Make sure to let us know what your favourites are in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also drop the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!